Hi, I'm Keith, and this is the unboxing video for Ratten Challenge in partnership with Concern Worldwide for 2022. This is where I eat a ration pack for one week between the 19th and 25th of June. This ration pack is the same as one refugee gets, and this is to help raise money and save lives. So, the parcel actually came today. I have slipped it open, and we got the envelope out. So let's take a look inside, and then we'll get to the food. So, in this pack, handy dandy little recipe book. I'll be looking forward to seeing what's inside of this. As I am also doing this, not just to raise money, but this is for my own appreciation for what I have here and to also improve my dietary and health. So I'm expecting a lot of these recipes to stick with me and even after the challenge, I'll be looking to cook them. A letter, probably skim through that in a bit. And the poster. I'm taking the Western Challenge. Let's stand with refugees. And I'll be uh, putting up and up work on my floor. My uh, boss has kindly said I can do that and hopefully can get a lot of support there. And then we'll have a thick booklet on the toolkit. So, toolkit. Eat rations, raise money, save lives. Everything you need to know to take part in the ration challenge. So it's a quick start guide. It goes through how to raise money, setting up the fundraising page. A little checkbox next to each one so you can keep an eye on what you're doing. Eating rations, of course, and saving lives. Provide vital support. The money you raise will provide emergency food, health care, and life-saving support to the people who need it the most. Stand in solidarity with refugees by taking the ration challenge. We are sending a powerful message to refugees that they are not alone and that we stand with them. Share your experience with the people around you. By sharing this experience with the people around you, you are highlighting our common humanity and creating more empathy and understanding, which is another reason why I'm doing these videos. And I actually do plan to do updates on my Instagram, which is dcvertigo underscore. So that's D-C-V-E-R-T-I-G-O underscore. And I'll post updates on there now and then. And then there's quite a lot of material here, like, about the refugees, how to raise money, setting up your fundraising page. Again, of teamwork, if anyone out there is doing this as well, which builds up a team, my page is Keith Buckley or Keith hyphen Buckley at the rationchallenge.org.uk website. Plus, of course, if anyone would like to donate, which would be greatly appreciated, the webpage is Ration Challenge dot org dot uk forward slash keith hyphen buckley so i'm going to have a good read through this at some point there are rewards as well so depending on how much money you earn or what teams you work with you can gain fruit dried spice garlic tea bags salt milk I'm not actually too concerned about these rewards. I'd rather keep it to exactly what they would get. I doubt they would have the opportunities to, say, do something, be rewarded for it that easily. So in the true spirit of standing next to them, I will be doing the ration as is. Take a quick flick through the recipe book. Again, immediately starts about the rewards, but of course, if anyone's doing this, no issue, but... Personally, for myself, I'm just going to be doing whatever's in the box. So, yeah, <laughs> how to cook rice. Simple hummus. I will be making that. I love hummus. Roasted chickpeas. That was, sounds interesting. Plain rice dosas. Not exactly sure what that is, but I'll be trying that as well, hopefully. A kidney bean dip. Sounds delicious, to be honest. <laughs> some nice um, stories about some refugees as well, including recipes that they use to help their meals go far and 
to taste delicious for their families. And there's quite a few in there, including falafels. Lentil soup, rice crackers, rice flour, oh, pizza. One cup of flour, 120 grams, a little extra for dusting, one tablespoon of oil, 15 mils, a third cup of water to 83 mils, three tablespoons of chopped kidney beans at 30 grams, and two teaspoons of chopped sardines at 20 grams. You know what? We'll actually try that one. That sounds really interesting. Oh, nice little meal plan as well to keep myself organized and know where I'm going with it. And the final piece inside. A welcome to the Russian Challenge and a letter. Dear Russian Challenger, thank you so much for taking the time to register for the Russian Challenge. You are among a small but strong community of people who want to make a difference in the lives of others. What you hold in your hands is the exact same rations as Syrian refugee receives in a camp in Jordan. As you can see, it's not much. Not only does this box contain your week's worth of food for the ration challenge, it is also a powerful fundraising tool. Here are a few tips to kickstart your fundraising. There's a lot of that on the website. If you wish to see more information about this, again, rationchallenge.org.uk. And then it goes on a bit more information about Concern Worldwide, where to contact them. Right, so let's get to the box. My first thought is this is a very small box. You see people going out doing the food shop and they fill trolleys saying, here's my week's worth of food. That hits. <laughs> that really hits. That does. So um, the one week supply for this ration: four hundred twenty grams of rice, one hundred seventy grams of lentils, eighty five grams of dried chickpeas, one hundred twenty grams of tin sardines, four hundred grams of tin kidney beans, one food coupon for oil, one food coupon for rice, and one food coupon for flour. So those food coupons, that's what they haven't included, but is a part of the Russian Challenge for the week, so you need to source them out yourself. Um, yeah, so the tin sardines as well. If you're looking to do the Russian Challenge, you can choose to have tofu. So sardines is an option. I do like sardines, so I've included them. It'll also help me get some central oil star me. Filled. This is one week. So we have the 170 grams of red lentils. Four hundred and twenty grams of white long grain rice. A tin of cooked and ready to use red kidney beans in salted water. Eight five grams of dried chickpeas. And a tin of sardines at 120 grams. Then we have, if so I can get them at the bottom. 400 grams of flour, 330 mils of vegetable oil, and 1.5 kilograms of rice. So it's in the back, instructions for ration challenge partici participants. In addition to ration kits, refugees are sometimes given coupons that they can exchange for food in local shops. To create your refugee experience, please buy an additional 1.5 kilograms of rice and add this to your week's rations. This coupon is for illustrative purposes only and cannot be redeemed in store, of course. And yeah. 
So I will be going out getting those free ball pieces for fashion. And again, fried lentils, fried rice, and there will be more to that. Red lentils, sardines, and kidney beans, which are at 400 grams or 240 grams in drain weight. But I can imagine that the salted water would be used as part of the cooking. So that will not be wasted. No part of this will be wasted at all. So that's everything in the pack. And I am a little bit nervous about this and I honestly can't believe how much that kind of hit me <laughs> to see such a small box and again for it to not be filled as much as I expected. These rations really are small. So again, if you wish to support the ration challenge, you can go to rationchallenge.org.uk and take it on yourself. You can sponsor someone you know who may be doing it or anyone you find. Um, personally, my sponsor page is rationchallenge.org.uk forward slash Keith dot no, Keith dash Buckley dash or hyphen. Um, and also my Instagram at DZ, DC Vertigo underscore. And I'll be posting updates on there. And also on my sponsor page, of course. And yeah. So. Today's date is the 4th of June, and I'll be starting this on the 19th of June, which will run until 25th of June. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.